recruits. The IHSA announces today it's deferring all decisions on its return to play guidelines to the Illinois State Board of Education, Illinois Department of Public Health, and Governor's Office. After previously creating its own guidelines, IHSA Executive Director Craig Anderson says they are conceding to provide consistent direction for schools after conflict arose about wearing masks while working out for athletes. In high school, players and coaches currently required to wear masks at all times after the IDPH changed the IHSA's phase four protocols last Thursday. The St. Joseph Ogden volleyball team isn't letting that stop them from working out. They're splitting into three groups, doing cardio in the hallway, strength in the weight room, and court time in the gym. Staying under the 50-person limit indoors means signing up for workout groups ahead of time. That's one challenge, you know, that the kids will have besides just myself as a coach, but um, encouraging them to communicate ahead of time, um, especially in serve receive, but then also be able to communicate in a, in a louder manner than what they're used to. But our kids have been really positive about it, and they just really want to play, so they're willing to make whatever changes they need to, you know, with the mask on. We've been working hard all summer, and it feels back good to just be back with everyone and just, I mean, it's not like what we want, but we just have to respect the process and do what we can do right now. I think each season you have a challenge, and this is definitely definitely been one of them for this season, but I just really want these kids um, to stay healthy and be safe, but also um, hopefully be able to have a season. The coaches and girls cleaning off equipment and volleyballs when rotating between groups and a lot of changes forthcoming on this. The main thing out of this uh, IHSA decision, though, to defer all judgments about going forward here, that could have big implications on the future of the fall. Yeah, a lot of fingers crossed for sure from students to parents to coaches all the way up to the top. That's right.